try to tell you guys a little bit about how I end up with five birds. <laughs> Just total creeper shot. <laughs> A little bit about how did I I came from no bird at all to five birds all right so the story all begins with yeah. Tuka Tuka where are you yeah Tuka is over there she is a female cockatiel that my goddaughter found in a pet shop. And she's like, oh my god, I, it was my dream to have a cockatiel. And then that was the first bird in a blue Macau house in Hawaii. I saw her bird and I just like, wow, I might want to get a bird too. So I went to another pet shop and I found this Oh my god, this ah. blue giant high scent over there. And I just like, well, I want that bird. And I asked the price. And the lady ah. told me something about like 15,000. I just quiet did not understand the 15,000. So I went home and I just like, maybe she'll say 1,500. So I call the pet shop again and I say, can you tell me the price of the bird that you have over there, the high scent? And the lady tells me 15,000. I'm just like, oh, okay, never mind. So I just started doing some research about the birds and talking to people here and there. They told me that high scent was actually not a quiet right bird for a first owner, parent. It's just like, oh, Okay, so I changed my mind about giving $15,000 on the bird and starting to look at something else. And then I went to the another bed shopping and I saw these two beautiful blue and gold macaws over there. And I started looking and people was already telling me that the blue and gold macaws are the best birds for first time pet um, bird owner. I did this uh, visit to a store. Do you like my necklace? Hmm? Do you like my uh. necklace? So anyway, <laughs> sorry, I got distracted. So I went to a uh. second pet store and I found Sunshine and another blue and gold macaw. And I uh. talked to the pet owner and I hang out with them a little bit. I went home thinking about, and then I came back. So when I came back, the owner told me the two blue and gold macaw had a little fight, and the other blue and gold macaw that actually was the one that he was trying to sell me was a little bit up by Sunshine. And he had Sunshine in the back room because he was afraid to sell Sunshine to um, a client and then they might regret. So I say, I want to check her out because she was really good with me the last time. So we had another a private visitation that store has like a little quiet room where you can stay with the bird and had your 
20 minutes, half an hour, just hanging with the bird without the whole people around the store. Ah. And I was so convicted, like, yeah, I want this bird. So I took Sunshine home, even that she was a ah. aggression. You know, she had this, this thing at the pet store that she was a little bit aggression. But she had no aggression towards to me. I came home sunshine. I guess you guys pretty much know the story that I took her out of the cage and we hang out all day together. And then when I had to put her back in the cage, I realized how to do it. I didn't know how to do it. She didn't want to go back to the cage. It was so easy when the guy put her in the cage or take her out of the cage all the time, but I could do it myself. And then that's when I realized, oh my God, what I got into it. <laughs> It's not that easy. Anyway, we just started having a little issues inside the house, how to put it back, the bird in the cage. Uh, we, I realized all the little issues that she could not fly, not like, come on, come on, Sashay. She was not able to do things like that, and I just like, hey, how my bird doesn't fly? And then I realized my bird was clipped. And people started telling me, you cannot fly this bird. She's clipping. And if you fly this bird, they're just gonna take off and never come back. Um, not quiet, yeah. You did a really full-time job. So now we're gonna get into Aiko. Aiko is my double yellow hat Amazon that came to Hawaii because um, pretty much a lot of people knows I have a um, house. I was running Airbnb in Hawaii and we want more like Brazilian birds in a house, which is, that's why I choose Sunshine, which is very popular in South America. But Aiko, we brought a Aiko home because she was easy, people were not so scary about Amazons, and she could be like very social. And I don't know if you guys know the story about Aiko, but she pretty much is a guy bird. She loves guys more than girls. Hey um, and I could came home, also clip it, never flew, with some issues, she could not stand, she could not have a balance, but of course she does now. Is that amazing? Um, yeah, so that's a pretty quiet. A little story about Aiko, and then we had um, Thor. Thor is my male cockatiel. He never been ah. timid before. When I got him, it was about time for me to move in uh, from Hawaii and I could not bring the Tuka with me and I want to get her a companion. So I got this male cockatiel. But uh, we got ah. plenty of videos showing how much I tempt this little guy over there. Uh -huh. And then here is my last one, Vicky. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. I went to a pet store in Miami and I saw this little, <coughs> this adorable little one uh -huh. here. She had about a month, here, like one month old. And I got Vicky to me. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ah, and Vicky is basically my first bird that came and was never clipped and she learned how to fly from the time, from the right time. So Vicky is my free fly bird, second free fly. She flocks with sunshine in all the macaws, which is amazing how they flock together on outside. So I trained Vicky from the fledging age 
the right time. She never been clipped, so she's fully healthy and free fly bird, which is a lovely adventure all the time. And as you guys can see, she is a cockatoo. <laughs> Uh, so this is pretty much a little bit about how I end up with five birds in my life in less than three years. Do you have any plans to get more? Uh, well, I still think sometimes guys about the high set, I'm not gonna lie to you because it's still my dream bird. but. For now, I guess we settle until I find a, a nice house, bigger space. I might consider getting one more bird, that's all. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy watching this video and please leave your comments. So if you guys want to know a little bit more about the whole species that I have, I have three from Australia. They are the family from the cockatoos. It's the cockatiels are the smaller ones and then Vicky is the rose breast cockatoo all well known as a gala uh -huh. and we have I have two from South America which is my Ico double yellow hat Amazon and uh, my little terrorist here in Sunshine a blue and gold macaw if you guys like this video, please don't forget to leave your comments, okay? And questions. And maybe what else you guys need to know and want to know about my birds, okay? And if you really like my channel, please subscribe right down here. That's really helpful and means a lot to me. Thank you so much for watching our videos and bye-bye. <laughs>